Good morning, everyone. We are kicking off five days of Mardi Gras safety tips. And today and every day we'll have our medical correspondent, Dr. Corey Abair, with us. Let's get right to the first one. I've done stories and had friends who had this. Sure. Beads being thrown by the bag, by single, cuts on face, stitches, eyes. What have you seen in the ER? Let me tell you something. This is one that really gets to me because and this stuff is for not only the people that are watching the floats, this is also tips for, these are tips for people that are going to be on the floats. Don't throw a whole bag of beads at anyone, okay? And try not to throw them hard because what I've seen in the ER, I mean, I've had to actually do lacerations to people's faces from objects being thrown uh, off of floats, right? And not just off floats, but also people that are walking. So I, it's I literally one, one time I had someone that had gotten um, a, a toothbrush, a, an electric toothbrush <laughs> in one of those hard plastic things yeah. thrown at them really hard, hit in the face, and we had to stitch it up. Mm -hmm. So those things are really bad. I, I would recommend for if you have children out there, have, let them have some eye protection, mm -hmm. but even adults, if you don't wear glasses, Get some fake ones. I didn't think about that. Like the things you wear if you're if you're mowing grass exactly, or something, yeah. so a rock won't hit you. Yeah, yeah. And, and make it and, and incorporate it into your your um your costume. Mm -hmm. But and even if you don't, just have just wear some sunglasses, something, mm -hmm. protect your eyes because I'm telling you, no parade is worth you losing your vision, well, even for a short amount of time. I I know a husband wife team where the husband was throwing the wife in Endemion. And mm -hmm. I mean, big old stitches down on <laughs> sure. forehead. Yeah, sure. so that was a fun conversation at when they got home. Yeah, and and and, and you know, and I, I'm, I mean, you always see me on these floats. So I'm in one of them, always at least one or two, and I, you always see me with the bow tie on. But I'll tell you that for our people that throw like the shoes, the people that throw the coconuts, the people that throw all these things. You, we got to remember, these things, especially when you've been on these floats for a few hours and you're kind of feeling happy, happy, you know, it's a toss. It's really a hand, okay, if we want to be very, very specific, but I know that things get out of hand, especially towards the end. Hand these, these heavy throws to someone. Please don't throw them. I, 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 you were talking about your experience in the ER. I talked to um, people who work in the ER before mm -hmm. we did the segment and EMS type people, and they say by far they see this so much. Oh people yeah, and and it's not just face. I mean, when you're throwing someone, uh, throwing something at someone, you know, they hit them in the head. We've had people that got. I mean, when you get hit in the head with a bag of beads, especially when you're not expecting it and you're looking away from the float. Let's just say uh, my back is to the float and you get hit in the back of the head, people pass out all the time from that from that, that really? injury, absolutely. Concussion, and what about detached retina? If you're hit too hard sure. close to the eye, I would imagine um, that, that it could do some damage to your sight. I, exactly, okay. I, mean, and, I mean, if you're hit with anything in the eye, it obviously can be a problem, but with this specifically, especially those beads, it, okay. it's a real problem. It's all real problem. right, well that was tip number one for our first day, and we'll be back all week long with, with Dr. Abair's top five Mardi Gras safety rules. Thanks for joining.